Hi, this is Oda from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Today we're going to learn a little bit about how NASA lands spacecraft on planets and moons. And then we're going to try our hands at it ourselves with objects we have lying around the house. Landing on another planet that is constantly in motion, rotating on its axis and revolving around the sun can be tricky. Spacecraft like NASA's Perseverance Mars rover travel really fast through space toward a target landing spot on the surface of a planet, in this case, Mars. Because the rover will be landing by itself with no real-time help from people on Earth, scientists and engineers must do a lot of work in advance, understanding the forces and motion involved, and then programming the computer to make sure the rover lands at the right spot. Other missions, like NASA's Cassini mission to Saturn, remain in orbit and drop a probe to the surface of a moon to investigate and gather data. This also requires understanding a lot about the forces and motion involved. NASA's Artemis program will launch astronauts from Earth to a moon orbiting gateway station. From this gateway, astronauts will fly on a lunar lander to land on and explore the moon. As you can see, it's necessary to understand the motion of all the objects involved the spacecraft, the lander, and the planet. Now, let's set up a challenge for you to try this at home. You'll need a few materials. About nine feet of string, or anything string-like, so fishing line or dental floss will also do. A disposable cup, a paper clip, some tape, scissors, and a marble or other object that will serve as your lander. You'll also need a target of some sort. Print out our template or make a target of your own. Set up a zip line by tying the ends of the string to two chairs, or use a door handle and a chair. One end of the string should be higher than the other. The more slanted your zip line, the faster your spacecraft will travel. Place the target on the floor under the zip line about two feet from the low end. Use the paper clip to hang your spacecraft cup from the zip line. Make sure the cup and paper clip can slide freely from the top of the zip line to the bottom. Now it's time to design and build your spacecraft. Figure out how to modify the paper cup to carry the marble down the zip line to land on the target using the materials you have on hand. Will the marble travel inside the cup? Outside of the cup on a platform? Underneath it? How will your spacecraft release the marble lander while zipping down the line? Consider whether you will use an automatic release system or a remotely activated release system. If you'd like, you can use additional string tied to your cup to create a remotely activated release system. Now, test your design. Release your cup at the top of the zip line and try to land your marble on the target while your spacecraft is moving. Use the numbered rings on your target to keep track of your accuracy. Repeat your runs several times to get consistent results. Now, think of how you might improve your design. Make a modification and try the experiment again. Keep making modifications and testing your design after each one to see how accurate you can get. Can you consistently get a bullseye? Getting close to the center of the target is what NASA engineers must do when they land a spacecraft on another planet or on the moon. Keep in mind, this is a really tough challenge. Don't get discouraged. Instead, persevere and even get your family members involved in suggesting ideas. For detailed instructions on this activity, go to this URL.